Well, guys, welcome to another episode of Death's Kingdom. This is Jacob. In today's tutorial, we're going to introduce you a very popular tiny vision language model. It's called a Moon Dream. And they just released the latest version of this model. It's called a Moon Dream 2. In this video, we're going to show you how to install it, how to build it, how to test it the easiest way. So, that being said, let's get started. So, if you go through this um, Moon Dreams offshore GitHub Rebel, you can see there's a lot of uh, examples and also introductions. But this is actually over complicated. So, uh, it actually might or might not work for you. So, but in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way uh, to work on it and test it. So, let's go to kicker.com, create a notebook called Moon Dream 2. And first, um, we have to clone this REPL, and which is the offshore GitHub Moon Dream GitHub REPL. Then we we'll go to this uh, folder and we do a pip install all the dependencies. And after that, uh, basically load the model. So, to load the model, instead of uh, this uh, offshore way, uh, we just do a auto model for a casual LM and from pre-trained, which is for uh, from transformers. And make sure you have specified the uh, uh, models REPL, the GitHub REPL name, the revision number, the trust remote code, which is true. Uh, and also make sure you use the GPU because on Kaggle, you can use the free GPU. So make sure you uncomment this uh, device map uh, basically to use the uh, CUDA. And that should be it. This should uh, load the model. And then we're going to test the images. So first, I will have a sample, sample image look like that, which is like a living room image. And the second image when the test is a sort of a financial type of chart. Uh, it's very uh, simple, uh, very straightforward. So we want to test it out, uh, how they can uh, analyze these two images. So first, we're going to test the uh, financial uh, financial data. So we want to uh, basically first load this image store this image in the test to the JVG. We first, uh, we load the image using image open. And after that, make sure the image is encoded. So because the model only takes the encoded image, so you can just uh, use the JPG image and do an encode. And after that, we can ask the model, what is the caption of this image? And the model says, a bar graph displays the top three skills related opportunities for improvement, which uh, with technology and data management at 37%, finance at 25%, and business logic at 25%, followed by personnel and team effectiveness at 8%, and count at 6 That's what it exactly shows in here. And we want to uh, ask the model what in the image. Special answer is the image represents a bar graph illustrating the percentage distribution of respondents for various skills related to business and finance. The graph is titled Top FPNA Skills Related Opportunity for Improvement and shows the percentage distribution for each skill. The top three skills are technology and data management 77, 37%, finance 25%, and business knowledge 25%, and the remaining skills have percentage of 8%. 6%, so which is correct. So, and also want to ask a model, can you build a CSV style sheet from the data show in the image? So the answer is yes, which they actually built a CSV uh, type of uh, spreadsheet, which is very nice. And the data is correct also. So it's very, very cool. And, but we also want to test the first image, which uh, you can see here. So, um, so try to test it, uh, just switch this image to uh, test, which we store as a test of JPG. And then let's run this model. So and first we uh, encode the image, and then we run this model. So first we uh, try to get the caption. It is a blue sofa with a yellow frame, a white coffee table with a fruit bowl, and a blue armchair with a gold throw, create a cozy living room with a chandelier and gold wall decor which is cool, very nice. The second, we just want uh, to ask the model what's in this image. So you can see that um, the answer is the image showcases a cozy living room with a blue wall and a yellow rug. A round coffee table is placed in the center of the room, featuring a bowl of fruit and a vase of flowers. A comfortable couch is situated in the background with a potted plant nearby. Two large paintings of giraffes adorn the wall, adding a touch of nature to the room. A chandelier hangs above the coffee table, illuminating the space. A mirror is also present on the wall. 
reflecting the room's interior. The living room is furnished with a chair and a dining table, creating a welcoming atmosphere for relaxation and socializing. Super cool is exactly what this shows, and also it shows the giraffes, right? An elephant.、Uh, very nice. So this is a very cool model, and this is the super easy way to test it.、Uh, so another way to test it is to just go to their official、uh, Hugging Face space and Moon Dream Two, and you can upload the image, which is the same image we tested in the Kegel notebook. So、uh, it gives us similar results. But、uh, if you look the、uh, implementation of this Kegel space, sorry, the Hugging Face space, you can see that's actually reading from the API. So,、uh, but we're actually using the transformers, so it's different.、Um, if you do not use the API, it might or might not work.、Uh, but anyway, so let's go back to their、uh, offshore repo. So this is actually how you、uh, test the Moon Dream Two, the easiest way on Kegel.com. So,、um, and you can see this repo is very very popular. So that being said, hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like or comment. If you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. See you in the next one.